Hey y'all. I'm trying to not talk too loud because I don't want to disturb anybody. I hope y'all can hear me. Um, I'm putting my mouth um kind of close to the phone if you don't mind. Um so um I'm here, I can't believe I'm saying, I'm here in Orlando, Florida, um, by my roommate's sister's house, and then we leave to Pensacola, I guess, tomorrow, back to Pensacola, the perps find out anyway, they know anyway, I don't have to tell nobody, but I'm just telling y'all, you know, my little daily diary journal or whatever, um, so... You hear that beat in there? Um, like, I hate the sound of that beat, that alarm. Um, it, it's, it's like my sister and my aunt always have that beat sound. I heard they say it means you need to change your battery. Um, so... Uh, I really hate that sound, but um, I heard that with my sister, I mean my um, my my roommate's sister. She seems her and her kids seem nice and respectful and stuff. Um, so she wouldn't be. A, I don't think she's a perp, but um, it's like. Her, her, um, I don't, I don't think her sister's a perp, but it's like, um, I heard that, like, with my sister and my aunt, I heard that some people say that when you hear a beat like that in, in somebody's house, um, when they, like, when people who, who I know I have a problem with, like my sister and my aunt, I heard that that's, that can be used for noise harassment. You know, I thought it was just my ne- my sister, my my sister. Um, and, and when you know, my sister's in New Orleans, but when I go to her place, um, I thought she was just too lazy to change the battery. But I remember 2015, I bought her some batteries to help change it. And she kept trying to gaslight me. and play. I didn't know then until I'm thinking about it now. And so she gaslit me and played games um, about and, and tried to lie and say that the batteries didn't work and stuff like that. And she just wanted me to be irritated by the noise, you know. So, ew, what the hell is this? Oh, this is a piece of, this little thing is a piece of my... My favorite color, uh, <laughs> blanket. But, um, so, I know I kind of rambled on for a bit, but this is what I want to say. Kind of funny that, um, as I said, I don't know if my roommate is a perp, you know, because it's like, my my roommate it's like when I mentioned about, about how the the video I think it was last week about how she only texts and never call and the same thing with narcissistic abusers but she didn't seem like a narcissistic abuser but then I don't know what a coincidence that the next day she started to you know now she calls me Instead of just only texting, you know, now she pick up the phone and call me, you know. But, yeah, that's what people do. They restrict phone conversation with me, but then they talk on the phone with everybody else in front of my face. But when it comes to me, they never pick up the phone and they just want to communicate via text only. But, yeah, I don't need, I mean, she wasn't even around when I, um, you know, did the video. So then, y'all know that, um, cause today is, um, 
Yeah, Wednesday, April twenty second, two thousand twenty. So it's my ne- one of my nephew's birthday, my twin sister's youngest baby. Oh, I lost track of how old they are. Uh, he boy should be like thirteen by now. Um, but anyway, um, so a couple of days ago, I think it was Sunday. I did a video on. Um, I know I did a few videos about, you know, me questioning my roommate. And she was nowhere near around. Like, she was in a whole different house. Like, at least about between 50 and 60 blocks away. She was far away, you know. So, she was not even around me when I did those, uh, at least three videos about how... She never uh, really disciplined her son and she let him get away with so much and I was tempted to leave. I did the video about how I almost tempted to leave. That was yesterday, you know, early in the morning. And so then, um, what a coincidence that we were traveling on the road and she finally got frustrated and lost her temper and went off on him and, you know, finally pulled on the side of the road and like verbally disciplined him and like got really frustrated and angry and went off on him and pulled on like we were traveling and she made the first exit and we she wasn't even all the way off the exit you know and she pulled on the side of the road where it said emergency stopping only and she went and you know she acted like she was gonna hit him (laughs) But she didn't put her hands on him. And she just scolded him for like at least a good 10 minutes and went off, verbally went off on him. And like, usually she'd be calm and don't react much, you know. But she, so I'm like, well, wow, you know. And so then, it's like, then she got in the car. And like the boy was, you know, in one moment, he acted like he was scared, and then went, well, and then next thing you know, he acted like as if she didn't phase him, you know. And then after they got in the car, then she, um, then he 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 was all crying, and he started to cry and stuff. And then she tried to you know pamper him and coddle him and tell him, oh, you're not in trouble, and I just wanted to get you to understand something. And, um, and then she's like, oh, just get you a bottle of water and put it on your face and drink some and get you a bottle of cold water or whatever. Um, So I'm like, you know, so, I mean, it's like, wow. And it's just to keep him to be just spoiled and having things his way because the conversation started off like they had a bad accident on the side of the road they had a bad accident on the side of the road where the driver's whole entire roof of the vehicle the car had came off and um and she showed me and I turned around and so then after that um me and her were talking about how I re- like car accidents and stuff, and I was telling her about how the how the family that I went to school with um, got ran over by an eighteen wheeler, and then at that same night, it was another uh, person that I went to school with that got shot and killed, and then I was talking about my brother. I mean, I'm sorry, my cousin Blake getting shot and killed, and then because. Um, her 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 brother had got shot and killed. So then, the boy got mad and, and said, "Can we stop talking?" He yelled at us and forcefully ordered us to stop. He yelled at us and force try to force us, an eight year old child, try to force us to stop talking about it. You know, he got really just rude and mean about it. And then she verbally disciplined him. And then he got out of hand and started being disrespectful. And so then, like. I started to get scared. I'm like, you hold up, you're scaring me, you know, because she 
kept looking back for like extended periods of time without looking straight at the road and then she got like really frustrated and lost her temper and everything I don't know if that was real or she was just acting you know but it's like well wow she know about my videos well why her she don't come never came confront me you know um so it's like if I get kicked out then oh well you know but it's like we all be have to have our guard up and be suspicious about you know even if they're not a perp shucks down the line or after some time they end up turning into one you know that's what might be why I, I, some people be like can be close to a best friend and then end up changing on you and cut off all contact with you and want nothing to do with you and then you I wonder like what did I do wrong and then I end up going into a depression emotional depression and obsessing about it and losing sleep for three days or something like that and eating excessively because of being like nervous and anxiety and upset about why they won't talk to me and I ha I know I we didn't get into an altercation I know I haven't done them anything and stuff like that I mean that happened with a couple of neighbors when I was living in Denton Texas they just straight turned against me for no doggone reason and this was in the year 2007 so um I'm up and can't sleep right now because my chest um I have like excessive gas pain in my chest like right by my heart and so I felt scared and I'm just up and um I, after this video I'm gonna try to go back to sleep I'm pretty sure it's like it should be like uh almost 3 15 in the morning um so my my chest it, it, I guess me sitting up I feel better but when I was laying down it was just such gas pain and on my heart what it felt like you know like I never experienced anything like this with gas pain on my heart what felt like by my heart and stuff so um I know off and on I had been suffering uh it seemed like the uh, acid reflux flare up yesterday um, a little bit, but I haven't been suffering it as much, you know, and I get this sleep deprivation and some people just blame acid reflux, but then I heard that the GERD was supposedly one of the, if you in one of the beginning stages of your targeting, well, I guess I've been in the beginning stages of phase one pretty much all my life then with all these, you know, symptoms and experiences with the gang stalking and targeting and stuff like that. So, um, I'm going to end this video right here, and I'm going to talk to y'all later. All right, I'll see y'all. Bye.